Swai farming is a significant aquaculture activity in Vietnam, contributing to the country's economy and providing employment for many people. Swai fish, also known as Pangasius, is a freshwater fish species that is widely farmed in the Mekong Delta region of Vietnam. Swai fish are known for their fast growth rate, high yield, and adaptability to the local environment. They are also easy to raise and require low input costs, making them a popular choice among farmers in the region. When the broodstock are reared to maturity, they are selected and artificially reproduced. After selecting the broodstocks, proceed to inject breeding hormones into the fish. The most commonly used injection method is multiple preliminary dose and single majority dose injection. Depending on the type of breeding hormones, the suitable amount will be calculated. The best injection area is at the base of the pectoral fins, dorsal muscles, or abdominal cavity. Use a syringe to pull out the semen from the genital papilla. Dilute the semen with saline. After the female fish is anesthetized, put the hand in the bulging egg space in the abdomen and swipe the eggs, let it drop into the dry bowl. Spray the semen directly on the eggs. Stir with dry feathers for a few seconds, then add water. The water must be added slowly while stirring, then proceed to pour the tannin solution into the eggs to treat it. Continue stirring for 20 to 30 seconds, then discard the old water and put the eggs in the incubator. Put the tannin treated eggs in a funnel like incubator. During incubation process, the water flow through the incubator must be adjusted appropriately so as not to affect the fish as well as to keep the water environment clean. Swai farming in Vietnam is done by both small-scale and large-scale farmers, who use traditional and modern farming techniques. The fish produced in Vietnam are sold both locally and internationally, with a significant proportion exported to other countries. The swai fish industry is an important part of the aquaculture sector in Vietnam and is expected to continue to grow in the future. Normally, the time to harvest depends on the culture process, nutrition, living environment and other factors. Usually, the harvest period lasts from six months to one year after the start of culture. To harvest, farmers often use fishing equipment or pump water out of ponds to collect fish. being harvested, swai is transported to processing facilities to be processed and packaged for the consumer market. Raw materials are carefully selected before catching, being fresh with no injury or red spot on the body and must comply with antibiotic standards. The materials are then transferred to the factory by specialized transportation. The workers use a specialized knife to trim the pharynx by piercing straight through the throat, at the junction between the pharynx and the gills. Semi-finished products are then put into the water basin. The fish will be washed in water with temperature 20 to 25 degrees Celsius, for a period from 5 to 10 minutes. The purpose is to remove all blood and foreign matter in the body of the fish, which helps the muscles do not harden, making it easier for filleting.
The workers use specialized knives to perform fish filleting. The workers must proceed properly and swiftly but must be precise to maintain the quality of fillet. Bones, heads, and internal organs are put aside and used for other processing. Each basket of fillets will be transferred on a conveyor belt to the washing machine to clean out the remaining blood and viscous, reducing the amount of microorganisms existed on the surface of the fillet. Under the running water, the workers will place the fillet on the automatic skin removing machine. The fillet is put with the skin part in contact with the blade. The worker will gently push the fillet to remove the skin out. The worker put the fillet onto the cutting board to trim the edge, removing the red meat part and remove the fat that remains on the fillet. Workers put the fish on the white light table to check the impurities and parasites. The semi-finished products are put in the washing machine with aeration system to remove impurities, remaining fat on the fillet. Semi-finished products are let dry and put into a tumbler to be mixed with additives for a glossy, moist look and to ensure the quality of the fillets for later freezing and storage. Weight gaining percentage complies with the requirements of the customer. At this stage, the lab staff will take random samples and test the moisture level to confirm that it matches the customer requirements. From non-treated products to STPP treated products at various level, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87 and 88 percent, before freezing the finished product. The semi-finished products are washed three times in cold water to clean out, before proceeding to next stage. Put the fillets on the conveyor belt of IQF freezer. The fillets must be arranged to maximize the conveyor belt space but should not stick to each other. After IQF freezing, the semi-finished products will be transferred to the automatic glazing machine. Once done, the conveyor belt will transfer the fillets to the second IQF machine for re-freezing. Products after freezed will be weighed by workers before putting in bag. The number of fish fillets in each bag will depend on the specifications of the customer. Products after putting in bag are transferred through the metal detector. The finished product will be boxed in a master carton and strapped. After packaging, the products are put into a storage warehouse with temperature below as less than or equal to minus 18 degrees Celsius, at the appointed location, ready to be shipped.